views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. Live an enlightened and authentic life by standing in your own power. Silver Gaia Radio, the goddess emergence with Dr. Brie Gibbs brings forth new information supporting the ascension process happening on the planet now. Learn the true meaning of the word goddess and why each and every one of us is a divine being. Dr. Bree travels multiple worlds, bringing through the unknown ancient knowledge and messages to help you remember who you truly are and live life with truth, trust, and passion. Now, here's your host, Dr. Bree Gibbs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Stephanie is back. That's all I can say. Stephanie is back. I'm here. You're here. I am present. You are present and you are here. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, I'm so sad that you're back doing the show, some shows with us. Too. It, it is an honor to be back. It's It's been a while. I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. I miss our chats. I'm telling you, we have mm-hmm. more fun just chatting oh, than yeah. doing anything. Mm-hmm. For sure. I'm telling for you. Sure. So today is honoring the God's Mother Gaia and Divine Elementals. That's yes. going to be a fun these story. Are, to these, talk are, about. these are uh, my favorites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Carter, how you doing, by the way, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you, Bree? Fine. Did you have a good week? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. Yeah. Been, okay. It was a nice, uh, relaxing weekend this weekend. Did you go swimming this I time? I sure did. But good everything else, just, just kind of sat back in the apartment and then, yeah, just hung out. It was great. Oh, wow. Well, good. All right. So let's get to this. So... Honoring Mother God's Gaia, but we just went through the spring class. Why do you think I'm doing this show right now, you think? Well, to inform people the importance of balancing with nature and the goddess within. That's right. The the equinox. Yeah, so we had the equinox. Right. And that was a fun event we had. Mm -hmm. And um, here's the thing is... I have noticed that a lot of times people, after the equinox is done, uh, they just let it go. And I wanted to do this show today because it was like every day I open up my back porch to let my puppies out, right? Right. You know, they're eight and nine years old puppies, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So anyway, so I let them out. And the first thing I do, even in the wintertime, summertime, is say good morning to my elementals because the hummingbirds are coming mm-hmm. in the wintertime using the hummingbird feeder. Birds right. are eating. Mm-hmm. And... You know, and you still see different elementals still hanging around, right? They right. make their own little houses and that fairy house is outside yes, my do. house. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. And for the gnomes and for everybody. And I'm wanting people to remember that. Right. Well, you're the one that introduced me, other than the fairy tales of growing up, of fairies and the ele- elementals. kind of thought you were a little crazy at first, but I wasn't involved as much. <laughs> Oh, but, you know, gosh. Uh, she might be a little flighty. I didn't know. But it's because I didn't have any experience because I was just coming into it. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for some enlightenment of the fairies and the elementals. Sure. Well, you made a statement that I'm a little flighty, right? Well, <laughs> and and you know what? Um, I am. I as a as a multi dimensional traveler, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm constantly leaving, going from this place to that place to this place, mm-hmm. but I'm still present in my body, For right? Sure. Yeah, and so that's very true. It, so, it was just it kind of, uh, I guess, at that time, you know, taking in like, okay, now I'm gonna fairies really stuff you want to do fairies well you never know that they're there for you you just don't know you were supposed to be asking no kidding so so fairies are great manifestors everybody's talked about it, but how do you think the fairies really help us manifest okay so i'm gonna answer that well they quick. have to well first of all it's like believing yes if that's you, i mean you can't do any of it if you don't believe right and uh i believe you know it's a first step of uh recognizing uh, manifestation right so with fairies also you have to tell them what you want 
So it's yes. like where we're calling our guides in, and mm-hmm. the gu- our guides are all standing here, mm-hmm. and you know, let's just say we're going to call Archangel Michael, and mm-hmm. he's going to say, "Okay, I'm here. What do you want?" Right. Well, you have to tell them what to do. And the same thing with the fairies. And so it's like, if you're going to tell the fairies, I need help you manifest a beautiful garden, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. then they need to know what you need help with. Even though they love messing Mm -hmm. with the gardens and messing with Mm -hmm. the animals outside. Mm -hmm. And they really like playing with the dogs outside. Right. And you'll see your dog barking and go, what are they doing? Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes you have that knowingness. Right. And sometimes you can see them. It just exactly. depends. So in the situation, so. Well, that, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Well, go ahead. It, well, I'm curious, and maybe some of the listeners are curious too, exactly what is an elemental? How, how long they've been here? Oh, my gosh. So if we go to, we're on Gaia now, right? Right. We go to Middle Earth. Right. We go to Terra, which mm-hmm. is First Earth, right? Right. They go even farther back than that. Mm-hmm. So elementals, gnomes, fairies, dragonflies, um, butterflies, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. because here's the thing. They can transform into all of those. So they're shapeshifters? Yeah. You know, I heard somewhere um, where to call them in, you know, they can be really, really big and you call them in to be their little size? Yeah, Is most, of, most, most of them... Um, when you're seeing a fairy, a lot of times, because of our third dimensional thinking, that needs to stop. Right. You're seeing them very small, but they're usually about three feet high. Yeah. So like the size of a toddler. So what limited, what's the limiting us from seeing them? Our own dimensional thinking. Is it because we're uh, the third D thinking, the negative, the fear of the unknown? Well, here's the thing. There's no room for fear anymore. We're not, for sure. This is just an illusion of third right. dimensional. I'm right. sorry. Our bodies are just an illusion. We're right. a spiritual being in, in, in well, this I ask, human yeah, body. Yeah, I fear is a good thing. Right. So, oh, you do. Well, the fear of, you know, um, that you're don't, you know, you fear this job interview. But this is where you're supposed to be. Do not, you know, that fear is a, a homing device to say move forward. Move wow, the that's fear. a different way of looking at it. I never thought about that. Um so the fairies don't fear us. No. Well, I guess they kind of do, but we fear them more than they fear us. They want to communicate with us. Yes. Yeah. So um, I haven't met a lot of people that fear fairies. So so it's kind of funny, but I will tell you, there's, there is a, a four-foot ET gland, um, plant, and they're nothing but love and light, right? So I and know they're called what again? They're, they're called the blue... Um, ETs. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm not going to give their name out right now. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway, so not, they're not the avions. I will tell okay. you that. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing is that's completely off the subject of what we're talking about today. But since you brought that up, I want to bring this up. A lot of these elementals and ET energies are coming to us. They're all over this earth right, right. now. That have been and here for a long time. Okay. But they're trying to make themselves known of who they are. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I've heard of people getting scared of them. Mm-hmm. they're more scared of us because sure. they don't want to frighten us. So then they back off. Right. So fear really isn't that good to have because you never know what they have, what kind of messages they have right. for you. So even though some people may think that fear is good, is that your ego bringing in the fear though at the same time, like with a job or whatever mm-hmm. you're saying. Mm-hmm. So mother earth, she's not a ego. She's right. here to help us and stuff sure. and help mm-hmm. us gain mm-hmm. what we need to know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I listen to things like this and I'm going, fear has no place. So if my ego wants to cause me some fear, uh, go to Lake Washington, get cooled down for a while and come right. back. Right. Well, I believe, you know, there's fear of, um, yeah, you know, what's going on in this, on this Mother Gaia. Now there's, you know, there's fear in that way. But the fear of the unknown is the more that you study in in the fear of, if some people are fear of uh, butterflies. Mm-hmm. You know, right, and there's people that are afraid of dragonflies and butterflies. And, and, and just knowing more information about them, less fear of, uh, now you have the ability to interact with them. Uh, so it's, to me, it's not really a fear anymore. It's a, you get startled. 
Yes, you can be startled. 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 You know, someone goes different. boo to me, you know, around the corner. My whole body doesn't get scared anymore. My arm will get scared. <laughs> but, <laughs> and go, weird, that, that just fear. scared my arm. Your arm going straight, going smack. Okay, that scared me. So so I'm going to tell you something that mm-hmm. I talked about on this show. Mm-hmm. You were on the show. Um, I was over at, at my friend, our friend Susan's house, right? Mm-hmm. And I was standing by the hummingbird feeder. And I felt this tap, tap very gently. And they have sharp little baits, right? Right. Very gently. And it did again. I said, okay, I'm moving over. I was telling her, well, you're too close to their feeder. I said, okay. So I moved over some more. Mm-hmm. And it went tap, tap. I said, okay, is it, wait. Then I moved three feet over. Is this far enough, guys? So you were communicating with a? With a, the drag, uh, the, the hummingbird that wanted to eat, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And it was like, we know who you are, so we're going to be mm-hmm. really gentle with your head. Right. And we're going to just tap you very gently. So you're aware of? of the awareness what, of surroundings yes. around them When most people us. without would wave their arms around and, and instead of communicating. Right. Listening. And that's what they would like is still the mind. Hear, hear my words. Right. And I was the only one out there. And I called her. She's just laughing. And, and it was just like, okay, all right, watch what you say. So that's something about the the fairies can transform into different beings uh-huh. and stuff. And so mm-hmm. elemental. So, and the gnomes are hilarious. I mean, they like to take over dog houses and anything and mess with the dogs, you know. Right. <laughs> and, oh, and, animals. Huh? How, do they have contracts with animals? Because wouldn't you think we would see our animals interacting with, them or we'd see the remnants of them or they have contracts that hey i'm a fairy you're a cat you protect me you leave me alone do i believe that's true yes i do just like we have contracts because i would think that we would find them laying around so it's it's like okay so you know sebastian right my little shih tzu Mm -hmm. okay he comes up and i thought he had a stick in his mouth Uh uh-huh so i picked it up and i said give me that stick because he was a puppy then right he's about two then because uh-huh. they're not really growing up until they're like right. five you know especially my dogs right mm-hmm. so anyway so i grabbed the stick right <laughs> it was a stunned mouse he was bringing me it it was mouse. a what a mouse oh <laughs> and so i took it very carefully and put it in the garbage can right and when uh-huh. he came and washed my hands i said no more mice uh-huh. no more mice mm-hmm. so he's left the mice alone since then right right but his contract was Bring bring me the mouse and I'll put it and take care of it because I don't believe in killing things if mm-hmm. we don't have to because there's a way to call upon the queen and queen of the ants and you know oh, fairies okay. you know fairies everything mm-hmm. all the different elementals that are out there mm-hmm. and so if I don't have to do that I don't so I put it in the garbage can so my son could get it out and do what he need to do with it right mm-hmm. and so I always go you know sometimes we have a mouse once in a while right mm-hmm. and I always warn them look. You guys carry different diseases and stuff that I can't have in my house. Mm-hmm. And so you have a choice. You can leave. And I and I say it several times. Mm-hmm. And if it comes to that point, then I have to kind of do your, do what I have to do. And I don't like it. But it's kind of like what I treat um, mosquitoes. Right. I believe everything deserves to live. Mm-hmm. You come over here onto this space, you know, there's, hey, I'm making a contract with you right now. You right. come in my space. I don't want to be bit. So here's my question is. Mm-hmm. As we are um, almost ready, time to take a break, I just noticed, and we're going to talk about this. So we're talking about all these different things all at one time. How is this honoring Mother Gaia? And when we come back, we're going to talk more about this and some more subjects and more with Stephanie and myself at Silver Gaia Radio. your best friend happy at Button Veterinary Hospital? Your veterinarian in Tacoma, Washington. A full-service companion and animal hospital providing quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. At Button Vet, they understand the special role your pet plays in your family and are dedicated to becoming your partner in your pet's health care. To learn more about Button Vet, Dr. Daniel Jensen, and their other incredible veterinarians, visit ButtonVet.com. Learn how to be you in today's world on New Soul Radio. Follow host Ruby Betty each month on Transformation Talk Radio as she introduces new rules for new souls in these new times. As a powerful spiritual thought leader, modern mystic, and clairsentient, Ruby Betty is propelled toward a single goal, 
to awaken human beings to their fullest potential. For more information on Ruby and her work, visit rubybetty.co. Integrate spirituality into your everyday lives on Universe Soul Heart Radio. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Kathleen Johnson explores the concept of sensible spirituality, keeping you grounded, connected, and centered on the path to wholeness. Kathleen has dedicated her life to facilitating holistic healing and wholeness in others. Listen to Universe Soul Heart Radio and learn how to flourish, grow, and impact all we do on planet Earth. For more information, go to universesoulheart.net. Your happiness is your choice on Natural Peace Radio. Follow Sarah Van Ryswick as she addresses the power of emotions. Each month, Sarah covers different topics as she helps listeners activate their energetic spark and create powerful energy and amazing opportunities. Manifest your desires with Natural Peace Radio. For more information on Sarah and her work, visit naturalpeaceliving.com. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show, talk radio to thrive by. I am so thrilled to be talking to all of you. We have got talk radio for all of us. Are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life? Check us out at drpatshow.com, transformationtalkradio.com, transformationradio.fm. Oh my goodness. The earth is an ever-changing being. Goddess Light, shamanic healer, Brie Gibbs, guides us through the ascending worlds, bringing forth knowledge and truth. As a light creator, she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution. Join Brie as she shares messages from guides, spirits, ascended masters, goddesses, and others. Tune in Thursdays, 1 p.m. Pacific, for Silver Gaia Radio. Welcome back, everyone. So we got to have our silly time for 15 minutes. Okay. Almost missed break. Um, now we got to settle down a little bit. Right, let's let's do it. teach like okay. we're supposed to. Okay. So the reason people are probably wondering, why are they talking about fairies? We know about fairies. Why are they talking about Mother Earth? We know about the God, Mother God's diet, right? Why are we talking about this? Well, we're in a new dimension now. Then the third dimension no longer exists, even though we're in a human body, but we're a spiritual being in a human body, excuse me. But the thing is, is I've ran across a lot of people that have forgotten the basics. And if you don't have a good foundation, then where do we go from there? And that's my big thing, Mm -hmm. you know, having that foundation. And the other thing is, is, What's wrong with being in the new earth, which is a new paradigm, but yet it's of the ancient knowledge. What's wrong with going back to an advanced basic? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is all about. And so the next few shows are going to be about the advanced basics that people have forgotten. Yeah. I've seen things out there that just kind of blow my mind. And, And one thing I want to tell people, you can clean out your chakras. You can put the energy back into them. Please don't remove them. That's no. really a scary thing because when you remove your chakras, um, you're, you're pulling out your spiritual points, you're pulling all your meridians out, you're pulling everything out. How are you getting it back in correctly? You know, and you're messing with your DNA. So that's one thing I want to bring up I right don't, now. I, what, what is pulling out your chakras? They take their chakras. This is a thing that came out like 15 years ago, and now uh-huh. they're bringing it back again. They're taking out the chakra, mm-hmm. clearing it completely out, and putting it back. But they don't realize they're pulling meridians, they're pulling their DNA right. out, they're pulling everything out right. that they're born with, with the cell, and mm-hmm. you know, so it messes up the cellular memory, mm-hmm. the pineal gland that has your spiritual blueprint. Mm-hmm. Leave your chakras alone. Mm. So right now, you know, you got you got your one through seven chakras that we right. talk about. Mm-hmm. Well, you have your eighth chakra right. that's back behind your head, mm-hmm. and that's almost like your fourth eye back there that goes up into the universe, also. Right. Okay. So to activate, to have your over 1,300 shop, you know, chakras that we have, mm-hmm. to activate all that, you know, you don't want to be pulling all no. that out. Because yeah. like, when I activate a pineal gland, that's reactivating everything in the new dimension. Right. And I did it, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of those lately. Mm-hmm. And um, so it opens up your fifth dimensional chakras and above now. Mm-hmm. 
I'm trying to remember. Well, I have, I do remember like when I'm working on an individual, um, I haven't pulled other than get rid of the murk. The, right. The, the, the muck. The muck that's in there. But yeah, I had no idea that you could. Yeah. I, and somebody and had then, asked me about this from out of, um, North Carolina. I said, no. Right. You know, and I'm like, no, no, because uh-huh. you're pulling all your spiritual points right, out. Right, right. How do you put them back correctly? If right. there's somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, right? You know, they come up with all these new fab ways of making money mm-hmm. and how to do this and how to do that. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you stick with the basics, right, you have everything right, right there. Yeah. Well, it wasn't meant to be hard. No. 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 Because it's it's pretty easy once you put it into motion. Correct. Yes. So that's one thing. The other thing I want to talk about is know your stones that you're buying and mm-hmm. why you're buying them. One, we don't own the stones. We're the keeper of the stones. Correct. <laughs> and they are live beings. Yeah. Um, when I go buy some stones that I pick out for myself or pick out for somebody else, mm-hmm. um, I really don't like them wrapped in plastic because it's like suffocating them. Mm-hmm. And then I and, and I bring them back home and I, and I say, guys, I'm so sorry. And they're like, we can breathe again. We can That's breathe. why I don't like, like some people will put clear fingernail polish on the rock to the oh, I know. polish. And to me, that stops them from spreading their energy out. And, and uh, why the clear polish? I so, don't get it. Well, the tumbling that. to me is much better because they're still all natural. Right. Yeah. So the tumbling or rub it. I don't, I, I don't Explain like, that to me why they're using that. Well, I, you know. To make it shine? Well, yeah. I mean, stones look beautiful when they're wet. And, you know, you can take clear fingernail polish or whatever clear paint and make them shine that way. But to me, it, it locks in their that, that essence. Suffocates them. Yeah, yeah, that's suffocates Yeah, that's right. Suffocating them. Wow, that's amazing. So that's one thing. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is, I'm going to go back to the fairies real quick. Mm-hmm. When you guys are doing your gardening, in our listeners, I should say, mm-hmm. when our listeners are doing gardening, we're mowing the lawns, anything like that. Mm-hmm. Please let the fairies know mm-hmm. that you're going to mow the lawn. So you don't need to say it out loud. You mm-hmm. can say it in your head. My husband's going to come and mow the lawn, or I'm going to come mow the lawn. Mm-hmm. I need you guys to move and scatter and get out of the way so the blades don't mm-hmm. hurt you. And they they move fast, though. They do get out of the way. Yeah. But it's so, it's just decency. As if your child was out there. Hey, right. dad's going to mow the lawn. You need to play in the backyard. Right. Okay. okay. Simple as that. I know. Okay. So, and the other thing is leave them something of gratitude. For the work that they're doing on flowers. What would that be? What, um, some examples of Okay, so if it's not real hot, you can leave chocolate out for them. Mm-hmm. Um, I get shiny little marbles, mm-hmm. with the fl- but I get flat ones, mm-hmm. so I can throw them out in the grass and so the lawnmower won't okay. be affected by it. Um, I've made them fairy houses out in my yard in different mm-hmm. areas where they can be. Mm-hmm. And that's their space, and I honor their space. That's where they so, want I mean, be. there's different fairies. Do they have different appetites? You know, that's a good question for me. I mean, I'm sure they do. Because, you know, I'm not a big sweet eater. Right. So, um, yeah, that's a good question. So let me think here for a minute. Um, Let me see what my guidance gives me. I'm asked guidance wrong. (coughs) Yes, there is. There is difference. So that's people like that are um, grown vegetables and stuff Mm -hmm. like that, right? Um, Give them some. So that's new for me to find out right now. Um, I didn't Basically, think about anything that. with gratitude, they're mm-hmm. they're going to accept. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So even shiny pieces of tin foil, they like that. Wow. So you know, um, so things like that. That's really important that we do that, and that everybody just really take care of your animals. And so the one thing is, yes, the elementals, the fairies, dragonflies, gnomes, whatever you want to call them. They love to mess with animals outside. So if your dog is sitting there barking in the air for no reason, if the dog is sitting there going chasing around and running around in circles and running all around my yard and stuff, oh, the fairies are messing with you again. Mm-hmm. And it's like, mom is here. Open the door. We're coming in the house. We're right. done with them. Right. Now, the ones I have invited fairies into my house. Right. And, you know, I have not just statues, but I have, you know, homes for them in my house. Right. right. So here's the thing is that we've made an agreement that they do not mess with the animals in the mm-hmm. house. Mm-hmm. They can stay in here, but leave. don't don't mess with the dogs while they're sleeping. Mm-hmm. Or the cat. Yeah. Are there trickster 
Yes, and they're, they I love, believe I had one yeah, at one time. Yeah, they can. They're so, but you have good fairies and bad fairies and good gnomes, and good gnomes. So, you know, right. you, good and bad and everything and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But some of them that are tricksters, they don't mean to be. They just think they're funny. Yeah, they think they're funny, <laughs> and they're not really that funny when it comes right down to it. I know people like that. <laughs> yeah, you too, huh? I got a few in my so, life. <laughs> you know my husband. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so here's the one thing. So. What I want to tell you guys right now, I'm going to get real serious here, so everybody, please listen. I'd like everyone to take yourself down to Gaia, our, our great mother there. Take, her, take yourself down. Go down and ask her to take you to the healing spring. I've talked about it before, but I think it's mm-hmm. really important right now. It's spring, it's rebirth, and go down to that spring and walk down that path with her. And go under the waterfall, get rejuvenated in that crystal cave, and let everything that you've taken on in the last year come off of you, wash off of you, and come out healed and feel re- rejuvenated. It's all, for it's sure. All, I just did that not too long ago. Right. right. I mean, it's just like yes. It's like um, how do I say it? It's like making us young again. Mm-hmm. You know, vitality back into uh-huh. us. Mm-hmm. So it's Made like me remember again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. What I thought I lost, but I never lost it. No, just, just going through a different it. little journey yeah. here. Oh yeah. You know, and that's going to be another. So we're going to talk about different between the journey and life path. Right. And um, mm-hmm. why that is, but anyway. So, but um, the thing is, is that you want to go down there, and you want to say, no, please help me heal, mm-hmm. and she will talk to you about anything. Right. You don't have to worry about. She already knows what she's coming down for right. before you get down there, right? For sure, yeah. And she'll take you down there, and then you guys can talk, and you can go into that heel spring. I won't tell everybody my experience, and everybody's experience is different. Mm-hmm. So, but I will tell you that she, you know, those are her um, priestesses, not goddesses, um, that are with her. Mm-hmm. That's the ones she wanted to wreck, you know, firmly right. on me. I got in trouble for that one. Oh. You know, from a long time ago. I remember right. that one a few yeah. years ago. Yeah, I do. Um, and... What I want you to do is just tell her, you know, I want to heal. Help me heal. Mm-hmm. You know, because mm-hmm. sometimes some people feel more comfortable with Earth. Some feel more comfortable with the angel realm and stuff, right? Right. right. Where I'm comfortable with Bo. Me too. So, you know, go that, go down there and just heal. Mm-hmm. And so I will tell you a little bit of it. we got two minutes, so I'm going to tell you just a couple things here. So when I went down, yes, I went down and I was wearing the clothes I was wearing. By the time I got to the healing spring, I was uh, not wearing nothing. Mm -hmm. I was like, how'd that happen? And I was told, get in the water. Mm -hmm. I got in the water. And then guess what happened? What? She had me go under the spring. And I went under the spring. And then I was able to heal from everything that I've held on to. She says, why are you, you know, why were you holding on to this? Right. Okay, so you know my thing was? Mm-hmm. I thought it was my responsibility to help everybody. Right. The whole world was on my shoulders, and I mm-hmm. took that responsibility mm-hmm. on, and I probably took it on as a little girl because I remember since I was just probably five right. or six years old that I would, I'm would i here to help everybody, and I knew it. And, you know, it's like, do I have to do this? And, I'm, and I thought I got to help everybody from animals to people. Right. And it was not my responsibility. So don't take everything on for everybody, guys. Yes. These are just basics we're talking about today. We're back more with, with myself and Stephanie and Silver Guy Radio. Life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Ignite your inner magic on Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga. 
Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Jane Machanga explores how to overcome your fears to help you gain the inspiration you need to awaken your path to joy. Learn the way to life mastery and the enlightened path with Grow Your Soul Radio. For more information on Jane Matanga and her work, visit enlightened-path.com. In this day and age, if you don't reinvent yourself, you may never find balance, peace, and the sustainable life that is your birthright. Angela Watson Robertson, known as the Reinvention Warrior and the host of Breakthrough Radio Show Masters of Reinvention, is here to help you reinvent every area of your life. Tune in and hear from the best in the personal transformation business and discover tips and tools for positive change. Live every month on Transformation Talk Radio. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Silver Gaia Radio welcomes Dr. Cheryl Berry from Cafe of Life, a chiropractic and healing studio located in Kent, Washington. Dr. Cheryl is dedicated to guiding you on a journey of healing, wellness, and transformation through a proactive and vitalistic model of chiropractic. You can find her at drcherylberry.com, and you can also sign up for a free meditation and read her inspirational blogs at wayofthefeminineforce.com. The Janice Underwood Show, helping you create the life you want, not the life you tolerate. Tune in each Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as Janice delves into the life creator system and the next step in your spiritual evolution. Janice Underwood is gifted at helping spiritually minded people shift their mindsets to unleash the creator within. Our souls wish to wake us up. Those of us listening, hear the call. Do you? For more information, visit JaniceUnderwood.com. So, Stephanie, we were talking about Mother Earth and going on down. You've Mm -hmm. done that. Are you willing to explain some of your experience you went through? I was, there was a path. I was clothed, though. That's good. But I was also draped Uh in, uh, you know, fabric, beautiful fabric, um, and was helped into, like I had one on each side, Mm -hmm. and was helped into, and... um, just you know, almost this, almost like the same, and being cleansed and mm-hmm. asked for to let go, um, which I had done again, yeah. done it a few times. <laughs> That's good. And in coming out, and how lighter I felt because I was helping as many people as I could, right, without helping myself, mm-hmm. which put me in a dark place, right, and but didn't realize that I was neglecting myself in the process of helping other people. And, you know, that's really important that you bring that up. That's one of the basic things that I teach people is, and that's one of the God's laws. And when we talk about that, uh-huh. one of God's laws is you're first, right? If you don't take care of yourself exactly. and you don't cleanse yourself and you don't mm-hmm. do your meditations mm-hmm. and breathing, cause breath is life. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be able to help anybody really. No, you're not. No. So, and you don't know if your stuff is transferring over. So that's why I tell exactly. people, you know, meditate, mm-hmm. breathe, right? Take care of yourself. Get out of nature. Nature, ground, however you can. Mm, grounding. I have my own certain way of grounding what mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. And then, um, if I can't leave my house, I know what I can do in my house, mm-hmm. right? So here's the thing: is basic, simple rules. I'm going to put out here real quick. When you're in your yard. Thank the elementals. I'm right. bringing that back up. Mm-hmm. Also, honor Gaia. Yes. I, you know, it's so simple to pick up a piece of trash by you. Right. Right. And everybody's going, oh, well, that's just a simple, just a piece of trash. No, that, but that piece of trash can mm-hmm. ripple into a big effect. It the ripples other, onto the, the, the elementals. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, and the other thing is, 
is um, when we're when we're doing this and we're working outside mm-hmm. and you work with Gaia, you know, I know a lot of people buy stones. Buy a couple fifty cent stones and plant, put them in the ground and leave mm-hmm. them there. Mm-hmm. Give them back. Give it back to her. She gives so mm-hmm. much to us. Mm-hmm. Why can't you give a fifty cent stone back to her? Right. You know, um, I've done a little bit more than fifty cent stones sometimes, but you know what? Oh well, mm-hmm. it was a stone that needed to go back. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's one thing. So as we're honoring her today and the elementals. Learn learn about the crystals and why she's given them to us. Right now, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Do you think we're taking too many crystals out of the earth right now? That's a question. I, I depending on what you're using them for, I guess. I, I think mean, so, I people think, are just using them for their beauty and don't know why they have it. Right. I think you so should study here's what you thing. have. Here's what I here's and you're very very right on that. Here's my opinion on that. I believe there are certain caves that open up for a reason. For sure. Okay. And then there are certain caves that close down. Yes. So when they are closed down, what do we do then? We use the ones we have. Oh, yeah. And I have enough stones here. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I run into one that mm-hmm. is calling out for me. Right. And when I can hear them calling to me, not right. just because of their, and some of them are not beautiful stones, you think, right? It's not ones that, you know, like big quartz crystals and right. Herkimer diamonds. And, I mean, I've mm-hmm. got a bunch sitting right here, little little tiny ones I have that I keep in a little cell night dish by my um, computer here as we're talking. Um, and I always keep it there. But anyway, so, but sometimes I can hear a stone call me. Mm-hmm. They'll say, over here, over here, uh-huh. over here. You know, uh-huh. I'm here. And I go, look, and I'm going, so you want to come home with me? What for? You know? Right. I have lots of stones, right? Mm-hmm. So I asked them, why do you want to come home with me? Mm-hmm. I want to be with you, and I know you'll take care of me. Mm-hmm. You know, and so really listen to the stones. Don't buy them for their beauty. Listen to what they have to say. Mm-hmm. It's kind mm-hmm. of like getting a pet, right? I know it sounds great, right. but you get a pet, and you say, I want this pet because it's a purebred Newfoundland. I'm right. throw that out there. Right. Okay, well, that's a big dog. I had, you know, that's a big, big dog, right? So... Or I want a, sw- a sweet cream golden. Mm-hmm. Okay. Teresa has one. That dog is oh, six months old and looks like it's a full grown right. already, right? Right. And he's just a love bug. He is such a love bug. But anyway, so, but she got them, didn't get them because of the breed. She got them because she loves that animal. Right. And so no matter what the animal is and what kind of the breed it is, love your animals. Mm-hmm. And that is still, who's that honoring? They're on the earth, so it's honoring Gaia. And it's also honoring mm-hmm. the elementals and honoring the being, divine being that that dog is. Mm-hmm. You know, Indy's a, it's such a divine being, and I'm not going to name off all my dogs, but, you know, they're all divine beings, and the cats are. And so if they're a divine being, could they be part with the elementals? That's I, would, a, I would assume so. Yeah, because you never know what that fairy might have decided to come back as. Exactly. exactly. Or did that person decide to come back? You know, you just don't know. Right. So that's why I'm just kind of saying that today. Um, now, it's like I said, this is a different show we're doing today. It's going to be a lot different next week, but I want the basis. So here we go. So chakra colors. Mm-hmm. You want to know? Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, tell me about them. Well, there's seven in there. Okay. Red, your root chakra, and then you have... Your orange, and that is your sacral, and then you have your yellow, and that's your solar plexus, and then solar plexus, yeah, and your green heart chakra, mm-hmm. light blue, your throat, your mind's eye, dark blue, indigo, and purple, which is my favorite for the crown. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, so um, when I teach my crystal classes, mm-hmm. um, I teach some things about a little bit different on the mind's eye, and I use a clarity one. I'll just mm-hmm. say that. Mm-hmm. And so they can come through the clarity. Right. But um, so when you have the red, is a garnet or a ruby on the root chakra? Mm, I think it could be both. It can be. It's what you're led to. Right. And mm-hmm. that's very good because mm-hmm. that's what I want to hear. Use your intuition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Use your intuition. Yes. Um, when I've had some students that have just put the stones on them and don't know nothing, nothing they're just taking stones. I said, here, use my box of stones and... Put it on there, right? Mm-hmm. I remember that. Right? Mm-hmm. And 
a couple of people had shocked me because they were able to pick out the right stones and mm-hmm. they haven't even taken the class. Mm-hmm. I was like going, oh, they were crystal healers in right. the past life. Right. They're going to be easy to teach mm-hmm. and certify. Mm-hmm. So that is one thing. Um, so I wanted to bring out stones. You brought elementals and stones and animals. Okay, now we're going to get to people. Mm-hmm. Okay, so everyone is a divine being. I don't care what they've yep. done in their life. Yeah. Because we haven't had to walk in their path. They haven't had to walk in our path. Mm -hmm. And there's always a reason why we are walking in a path. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they call it a journey, right? They say we're on our journey. A journey to me Mm -hmm. is going like hills and valleys and hills and valleys. You're up and down, up and down, right? Right. But if I'm walking on my life path, I finally got to that point now after going through my last transformation. Right. As you know, it's like it's just I know where I have to go. Right. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. I just have to find my way there exactly. Right. And what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as we're walking on a life path, you already know what you need to do. Right. That's not that hard to do. No. But you can run into hills and valleys again. Thank you. And then what do you do? Just stop and listen and think? Oh, yeah. Or do you go over the hills and valleys? Depending on if you're willing to go over hills and valleys. And with me, if it came to that point, for me to get to the other point, I would go over the hill and valley. I would do it over and Mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. So, but the new word for the fifth dimension that people are not understanding is life. It's your life path now. Life path. Mm Mm-hmm. It's a new mm-hmm. vibration. Right. So would we not use an old, get rid of that third dimensional thinking? When I was in meditation, I was getting um, different things that I was to say. And one thing they said, please tell your listeners, release your third dimensional thinking. Right. Right. Do we need to feel like we have to constantly... Um, protect ourselves do we need to or can you just know that we're in divine timing Mm -hmm. you know for everything right for sure and so um i've got some things in the works that i'm working on for my own self right Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. away from from um other people right and it's all in divine timing that this will all come out right it's going to take a few months but it's going to work out to the point where Mm -hmm. i need it to come out Mm mm-hmm mm-hmm so that's what we're working on today. And so, um, you know, all these things, and it's like basic, basic, basic. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's real simple to go pick up books on the chakras. And I'm sure everyone has them. And just use them. I mm-hmm. mean, sometimes you just have to go back to the basics to, to read. Well, I think it takes you back to the basics. When, the basic, the basic. when you are going through hills and valleys. Right. And you go back to the basics where the hills and valleys aren't as hard because right. we can make them rugged. And we can make it hard. For and everybody. slippery. Yeah. And I'd rather and have it really easy and not push yes, myself through and it. Going back to the basics of the grounding. The, right. The, um, what do you call it? That you got your grounding, um, being thankful. Mm-hmm. I am present. Those are basic make you feel good back on path well you surprised me because you just brought out some of the god's laws we'll be talking about when, yeah oh yeah i know mm-hmm. so the i am presence and stuff and the ascended masters and everything where we talk about all that but mm-hmm. you know um that is so true mm-hmm. i'm glad look at that I've been, you haven't sat here with me for a while and you're bringing out some of the god's laws yeah well my hills with all these are is slippery and ragged isn't that cool? <laughs> Too cool. So the one thing I want everybody to understand is that we need to um, take a break in a minute. I just mm-hmm. got the nose cue here, so I don't want to screw up or my producer is going to be upset with me. I screw up and go over time. So here we go. We're going to take this break and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. 
We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you stuck in unhealthy habits, toxic relationships, or low self-esteem? Do you crave a life of inspiration, love, self-acceptance, and fun? Sounds like you're on the verge. On the verge to your next big thing. Join Laura Richer, host of On The Verge Radio, helping you use your breakdown for a breakthrough, overcome life's greatest challenges, and live the life you want and deserve. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio or visit seattlehealinghypnosis.com for more information. Learn to keep your best friend happy at Button Veterinary Hospital, your veterinarian in Tacoma, Washington, a full-service companion and animal hospital providing quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. At Button Vet, they understand the special role your pet plays in your family and are dedicated to becoming your partner in your pet's health care. To learn more about Button Vet, Dr. Daniel Jensen, and their other incredible veterinarians, visit ButtonVet.com. Do you know how powerful your thoughts and beliefs are in determining your experience of your life? Is it really true that simply by changing some of the words you use in your day-to-day language that you can change your life? I'm Megan Edge. Join me on Playing on the Edge Radical Change with Ease with my co-host Dr. Pat on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca. Welcome back, everyone. So it's been just a fun show for Stephanie and I to come back together. I know we've been kind of silly today. Um, next week will be very serious what we'll be talking about. But she had a question. Why can't we see them? You know, the elementals. Sometimes we are able to just to feel them and know that they're around and honor and respect them and let them do what they're doing on their own by path and journey, what they're doing mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. So... You know, being in the fifth dimension where it's beginning times of Lemuria, mm-hmm, right. and you know, to me, that's home. Mm-hmm. I'm comfortable with it. Other people are not. Mm-hmm. They're still trying to um, integrate it all. Right. I'm I'm working right now on a new um, transformation that's happening with me, and I was totally shocked by it. I didn't expect that to happen, right. but it's yeah. all going to be okay. Mm-hmm. But and so the fairies actually have been really quiet around my house during this time. Wow. And wow. even my dogs and, and like dogs are looking at me like, we're just going to lay here and be quiet, you know, and let you do what you need to do. Mm-hmm. So before I go on the air, every right. time I turn on um, meditative music for them mm-hmm. and they're just outside the door here sleeping yeah. and they're quiet. Yeah. And you got okay. a lot of them. Yeah, I got, oh, well, not that many. There's only six out there, you know, little <laughs> tiny ones. <laughs> you stuck them all up. You got a really big dog. Yeah, real big dog. <laughs> um, but here's the thing: is they're honoring what I'm going through mm-hmm. now. When my husband gets home, everybody breaks loose. Right. The fairies, the gnomes, the elves. You know, mm-hmm. everybody. The, you know, because everybody does. Yeah, and don't forget about the elves. That's right. That's what I was forgetting. The elves. Little, little elves. Don't forget about them. Right. They like to help and garden mm-hmm. and do things, you know, mm-hmm. and move things around in your yard. So if you see your one plant moved one mm-hmm. way or moved a little bit over to the left or right, mm-hmm. they like to help too. I had uh, read somewhere or heard somewhere that um, the elementals are here to help us to help them. Correct. Yeah. That's very true. Because what we raise our vibration 
they raise theirs. Yes. As as Mother Goddess, mm-hmm. the planet mm-hmm. from Mother Goddess Guy raises mm-hmm. that the planet's vibration. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. raise theirs. Mm-hmm. So the one thing I want to I want to do a teaching moment here for a second. I was in meditation, and um, you know, and I I was like, oh, why am I seeing this ball in front of me? Mm-hmm. Okay, so since we're honoring the planet, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this today, and we're okay. on, and I'm this is gonna go through the universe. So anyway, so visualize a big beach ball in front of you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I take Liz can't see my hands, but I'm taking my hands and I'm feeling the energy in between the hands right now. Right. And then it's like this cord came from my heart chakra, right? Mm-hmm. And it goes into there. And I released everything that no longer served me in the highest best into this energy ball. Right. Okay. So by the time I was done, believe it or not, I felt like it was a big helium balloon you see up mm-hmm. in the sky. Mm-hmm. And I asked the angels and and the guys to take that up. Mm-hmm. And release it because I did not want to send it down to Gaia all my stuff. Right. That is the first thing we do. Send it down to Gaia. Send it down to Gaia. Mm-hmm. No, because Gaia purges every 150 years. Right. So imagine all the stuff that has been sent into her. Right. Even from the last time she purged last year. Right. So if you're looking at all the stuff that we sent down to her, we should be ashamed of ourselves. Because if it's an energy ball, <laughs> right, right, and I, and I, have to, I have to say shame on me too for that one too. Okay, right. mm-hmm. if it's energy ball, the angels and your guides are taking it up. It's not affecting the universe, right? It's contained, and they will transform it in love, right? And I was asked, please transform mm-hmm. that and transmute it into love as mm-hmm. you're taking it. Mm-hmm. You know, and and I just trust and believe that they will take it to the right dimension wherever right. ever it needs to go, right. Right. Mm-hmm. So if they transform it in love, it can end up being, you know, a heart somewhere. You never know. You're right. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's not affecting the universe. It's not affecting the planet when it's right. in this ball. Right. And so I've been doing that with some of my students lately. One, and, one. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And when all that left you that that you held on to for the last few years, right. I was like going, wow. Yeah. You know, and and I did the same thing with myself. Mm-hmm. And I saw the stuff that I was holding on to. And the one thing I realized, I don't need to be so perfect. And today is not a perfect show and I'm having fun. <coughs> right. No, you don't have to be perfect. No. Mm-hmm. No. We all have to see and come across that we're supposed to be this great teachers of perfect. And so release it upward. With yeah. your angels and guides. Right. Instead and of, if some of it yeah. needs to go down the guy, they'll take it down to her. Right. But let her have that choice. Don't yeah. just throw it down to Gaia. Yeah. yeah. That's a big thing with me. Mm-hmm. The other thing is, you know, know the person you're standing next to. Okay. What if that person is a stranger that you've never seen in this lifetime? How do you know you never saw it in the last lifetime? I really don't know until I talk to him. Okay. So. For me. Right. So in me, it's like. If, you know, sometimes you, you, you know when to help a person, when not to. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it's just all you want to say is, have a nice day. I love you. Lo- I love you. Love and light. You're a yes. divine being. Yes. You know, you don't even have to say it to them. You can say it to their higher selves yes. and yeah. they get the message. Exactly. And I've done that. I guess I've, I've known somebody just by a look. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you kind of give that look and they look at you back like, yeah, it was nice seeing you again as you go on your way. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah. as we're doing that, then you're giving energy back to them that they need too. Mm-hmm. For sure. Because, I mean, there's so many times that they need energy and, mm-hmm. and it's like, wow, you yeah. know, I can't do this, but I can give you this. Yes, exactly. You know? Yeah. And the universe always provides us back, mm-hmm. our energy back to us energy, that we need. Frequency. Right. It all goes right. out. Okay. So the other thing, really important thing I want to talk about is cutting, cutting the effort cords. Mm-hmm. That is so important that you cut the etheric cords. Right. So what I've done is I called in Archangel Michael to help mm-hmm. Archangel Raphael mm-hmm. to heal and seal each ends of the, of the cords. Right. The ones that are meant to come back to you will come back yeah. to you. My old husband yes. comes home every night, so I know he's coming home. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. And you know, cut those cords yes. that no longer serve you in the mm-hmm. highest of light for mm-hmm. this new dimension. Right. Now, right. it's something that I recommend. Um, the other thing is that, let me see, what else do we recommend? Chakra oils? Yes. They're very important. Gratitude. Um, Show your gratitude. Yeah. Yes. Be thankful for the little things for sure. I know. Yeah. So, but I want to get back to chakra oils for a second. Yeah. Chakra oils are really important Mm -hmm. to use on your spiritual points. Uh It doesn't have to be 
where it says you can use it in the in the palm of your mm -hmm. hand. You can use it on the, in your wrist. Mm -hmm. you, know, yeah, you, use it pay, oh. you use it right there yeah. and rub it together and let it. And when you use it on your wrist, especially or your palms, it goes all into right. your meridians everywhere. Right. So sometimes I have three or four of them. Mm -hmm. I need different ones, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll put it in one hand, rub them together, and put right. it down there. And, yeah. you know, um, we just do that, and it's great. It works out that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and um, I want to say thank you. Um, there are some people that had seen my stuff on Facebook, and they actually sent letters on my website that way. And um, they heard about my puppy I had to let go. He was 15 and a half years old, yeah. you know, buddy. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank everybody that put their concerns out there for me. I was I was fine. I was just emotional. Um, but he was part of my family. And I was able to have a session with Master Guy Carriel at Conferred Sterling. Right. Um, it's the medium, master medium. He's exclusive medium for him, actually, right. for 30 years. But he had told me that he's playing and doing things that he hasn't done what he's wanted to done and do and you know all sorts yeah. of different things i didn't say that right but he's doing things he's having a ball and that's all that matters mm -hmm. and he says don't bring him back too quickly right but then of course then my other one shows up and then they're saying twins 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 well i'm sorry they're gonna have to wait till for a <laughs> while because <laughs> i'm a little busy and i right. can't take care of puppies right. divine, like, divine timing yeah divine timing for them too yeah anyway so um I, you know, I think we covered a few little basic things that we need to cover. Mm -hmm. And next week will be more of a serious show. Mm -hmm. And so we will see you all next week on Silver Guy Radio with Dr. Bree Gibbs and Stephanie Sills. You've been listening to Silver Guy Radio, the goddess emergence with Dr. Bree Gibbs. Join Dr. Bree Gibbs Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. Each show is designed to share and discuss timely key messages and truths. Dr. Bree brings forth gods and goddesses, ascended masters, and others to communicate the information our world needs. For more information about Dr. Bree or The Silver Gaia Show, visit drbreegives.com. 